Medical people know that the most important part of the body is the brain because it controls all the other body bits. And therefore, if someone is to be successfully revived, the brain has to be given priority treatment. It's been known for a long time that oxygen is needed to keep the brain alive and that oxygen is supplied to the brain by blood. It's also well known that oxygen comes from the air we breathe and is absorbed into blood via the lungs. Right, you find an unconscious person. First thing to consider is what caused this person to collapse and is there any danger present? You'll be of no help at all if you get hurt as well. So the first thing to do is to look for, and if necessary, remove any danger. Now, find out if the person is in fact unconscious and not just asleep. Squeeze him gently and ask him to do something. Hello? Can you hear me? Open your eyes. Squeeze my hand. Now is the time to send for help. Call an ambulance. Also, get someone to bring a defibrillator if there's one nearby. You start by pushing on his chest to pump the oxygen carrying blood to his brain. Then you blow your air into the victim's lungs because it still contains oxygen. Once this air gets down there, the lungs will automatically absorb the oxygen and put it into the blood. The depth, a third of the chest depth. After 30 compressions, give two breaths. To do this, tilt the head back Lift the jaw, then pinch the nose closed and make sure you get a good airtight seal with your mouth over the patient's mouth. For infants, babies up to 12 months, you only use two fingers to do the compressions and you might have to put your mouth over the baby's nose and mouth to give the breaths. Begin by exposing patient's bare chest and torso. Remove or cut clothing if needed. Firmly place the pad without the liner on the patient exactly as illustrated. I want to mention the possibility of catching a disease when you're doing CPR and of breaking ribs. Uh, the patient said is not yours. Yes, it would be And it is sometimes easier to remember the sequence by remembering the letters D, R, S, A, B, C, D. Uh -huh.